against the world champions. So join me as we walk into the land of dawn. Will the Western Warriors from Brazil be able to take a game back against Blacklist, or will they succeed in taking this and making it 2-0? 2-0 is the question. Will Blacklist be able to take it out? But now we're going straight into the Land of Dawn to see exactly how both of these compositions are going to be implemented and conducted within the game. First and foremost, no purifies coming in from Blacklist. We, they already do have that Diggy with the time journey, so they are going for their respective spells. And like you mentioned here, King on the Leomort is on that killing spree. So expect that they are going to try and push the tempo here in the early game. You know, what I like to see here from Brazil is that they're already kind of being aggressive. Luis, he checked that blue buff immediately, made sure to give his team some vision. He's already being proactive. And we see them already, Lilia, move up into that EXP lane to try to pressure onto Edward. This is what they need to bring, but they also need to be careful with it. Well, right now, King's got to get an early kill here. If he can, doesn't have the level four just yet. Oh, my Venus is going to be the focus. They get the flicker out for now early on. And still, King just waiting here. But top side, another flicker from Takashi. Blacklist and Ash are going to follow it up. It's Wise and Edward. Can't get the kill just yet. Even with a taunt, one punch away. Can't get it. Super close. I mean, right now, both teams are trying to make their own tempo. They're trying to not play into each other's rhythm. But remember, 20 seconds left on the next neutral objective. And I do believe that's when things are going to get a little messy. But on the bottom side here, Gusta La Gusta, he's not having too much of a good time. Definitely not having a great time. And I think it's going to be very important for him if Brazil... Oh, <laughs> that is just so dirty. And these are the type of things that Blacklist do. It is a game of seconds. And Blacklist knows how to take advantage of every single one. I mean, that's that's got to be frustrating, right? And now the first turtle up here. But this is what we expected from All My Venus. And this could just actually be a trade objectively because you see the folks on the bottom side. And right now, RQ Akira going to go ahead and secure themselves a turtle. That is the first turtle oh. right there that they have secured. But wait a second. Well, he's going to charge up. Can't get away from the real world manipulation. Haji able to grab the kill. Saigon now a little bit late to the party. Able to poke down, Black Shoes committed, but no one goes down for Blacklist. All right, so they've already secured a neutral objective, but they do get a utility in return. But now we're going to take a look at the items here in the second to the third minute. Nothing too fancy just yet, although we do see that Oheb has already secured that Corrosion Scythe. So expect the damage starting to come through with the attack speed as well, and of course the adaptive damage from the Swift Crossbow. Whereas on the other side, Claude, he hasn't been able to get even his first item, so he is a little bit ahead. And it's, it's, it's the impact from the aggression has started to show. Oh, that, see, that's tough, right? King looking for these kills early on is something that he really needs, especially on this Leomord pick. If he's able to get those with the killing spree, the burst damage will be there. But you can see, Blacklist International knows that. They disengage right away. They have the information. King doesn't have the ultimate currently. And that continues to be the problem. It was the problem in game one, and now it's becoming the problem in game in game two. RQ Brazil tries to be aggressive in these early stages, but just cannot succeed, right? So they need to either try to really find these picks or just push a little bit more. Maybe they can get it. I'm wondering if these emblems have anything to do with it, Eterna. I mean, it really all depends on what emblems they picked up and how they're going to be able to implement that in the game, right? I mean, Fredrin, you can see with the Demon Slayer, he's trying to be able to get a better clear and a better lead in that early game because of how they want to prevent that snowball coming in from RRQ Brazil. So right now, we can see that it's not been as successful, so Blacklist's plan has been working. But remember that Blacklist, they weren't as dependent on level 4 as RQ Brazil. Louise needed that level 4 in order to have a huge impact in the game. They haven't really found that moment just yet, but now they're starting to reach that power spike. We'll see if they're going to be able to implement that game properly now as we are entering that fourth minute. Man, oh man, I feel so bad for Gusta Lagusta right now. They're just continuing to harass him, having such a tough time. One thing we can say is Sakashi doing a little bit well, but it does seem like we're going to have a brawl down in the turtle pit. Turtle going to be at half health here. Wise trying to get in position for the retreat. Takashi trying to zone him out with split split. King still working on it. Time journey committed to. Oh. Wise goes in. Grabs the turtle away, and now it's a full-on fight here in the river. King grabbing a kill on Wise as he falls. Takashi to flicker out, but look at the damage. 
from Oheb, able to pick up a kill for himself. It's a trade again. Beautiful steal coming in from Blacklist. Their initial lead now circling to a 1,300k lead. And it makes sense, right? I mean, Wise is level 8 compared to King, who is still level 7. So automatically, he does have that favorable trade when it comes down to those steals. Whereas you can see, even though Diggy being the roamer, he's still building damage. So even if RQ Brazil, they want to go for a setup, one of the main weaknesses of that is that they are going to be poked down before our RQ Akira can even get a good Numenon Blast. I think the fact that uh, that Venus is building the damage is what's really, but wait a second, possible conceal play. They should be able to take that tower, which is very helpful, right? This is going to give Gusta Lagusta a little bit of movement around the map, and it's actually the first big win for RQ Brazil at the five minute mark of the game. Yes, they are behind in gold, but at least they're still claiming some things on the map now. Gusta Gusta, number one highest in average turret damage and number one average in hero damage. Well, again, Black International gonna retreat here. Nuno and Blast not gonna connect. Time journey committed though. Takashi getting poked a little bit, but this seems to be the trend. All the ultimates thrown at Black International and they just pop the time's journey, they disengage from there. What's going on, right? I mean, <laughs> oh man, like Louise with the Numenon Blast, it usually hits and it usually creates a big moment, but why is it that up until this moment, even if the time's journey doesn't get popped off, it doesn't seem we've seen that impact yet? Most definitely, I mean, we definitely haven't seen a huge impact, but I will say that uh, the gold lead isn't escaping from RQ Brazil right now, and there is still some definite opportunity, and they because I think they have some of the damage, and Blacklist isn't like forcing it in like last game. They weren't, they're not so far ahead, but maybe that can change with this turtle. Well, there's gonna be fighting for it again. You know, last time to connect, it's King oh. that takes out Wise and grabs the turtle as they find another kill. It's Oh My Venus that falls. The double kill from King. The snowball has started. The Finally, snow, in game yeah. two. Brazil is taking a lead here. Well, at least it is middled out. We can't quite say it's a snowball, but with King being 3-0-0, zero, zero, that is big. Yeah, it's on the right foot, right? That's what we want to see coming in from RQ Brazil. You're right, maybe the snowballing hasn't really, it's not there just yet. I mean, we're already in the seventh minute and the lead is near to zero, but they're going in the right direction. Right now, we're gonna see exactly how this pans out as I don't know. What do you think about Edward on the Paquito? I mean, the, we haven't seen the Paquito so far, even from the group stages, but he seems to be able to have an impact. I mean, this is normally around the time that Paquito really pops off, right? He's got that first item, almost second item locked in. The damage should be there, but when you're up against Saigon, who's got this Lilia, right? There's not a whole lot you can do against those black shoes. And taking a look at some oh. of these items, he does have that Bloodlust Axe locked in. And instead of going for like the Hunter Strike or something with a bit more of a punch, he picks up the Dominance Ice instead. And I think that could be why we're not getting too much. That's crazy, right? It, even looking at this, there's only pretty much two items here for Haji, and the amount of damage he did to Gusa Lagusta just a little bit ago is pretty scary, and that's something that RQ Akira has to be conscious of, right? They've got to work around this. Yes, they have a very minuscule gold lead in their favor. They're still in a good position to actually fight this first Lord of the Game if they can pull it off. They've really got to just give it their all, but if we're looking at the previous skirmishes and fights, the disengages are so strong from Black Sinatra. Looks like King wants to go in. They get the time's journey out. That's going to be a big win for them. Lord coming up in just a couple seconds here. RRQ, RRQ Akira in a good position. Edward now trying to help out, defend the middle lane, holding on to tier one, taking quite a bit of damage, has to flicker out. Can't get the kill though. He's going to survive for now. Lord is out now up. Does RQ Akira, Akira actually decide to focus on it? They still hold on to the tier one at the top. Yeah, Edward was forced to retreat at this point, and that means that RQ Brazil, they're gonna have the better setup in the Lord unless they try and prolong and look for a better way to go about this. You can see, uh-oh, Noon on Blast. Oh, oh, he goes in with the flicker, finds Wise here. They don't have the follow-up damage. Saigon goes down from Haji. It's a missed call here. RQ Akira now down one member. Yeah, Blackness I mean, International not going to focus just yet. Saigon getting a little bit caught off guard. Yes, they have the lead, but they still need to keep it tight against a team like Blacklist. But still, I mean, it's only a 200 gold lead, but we got to look at the map right now. 
Brazil holding a huge lead in territory, taking away one to four towers already from Blacklist. But now we do see some action in the Lord Pit. Oh, Takashi gonna get all the ultimates. There's the time dirty too. He's gonna fall. Lord's still gonna be up though. Luis gonna go in, give him the call to go. King now on the focus here for Redward. Uniblast gonna land. It's Gusa Lugusa that goes down into the wheel. Long manipulation. They go. Another member zoned out here from Haji. He's on the killing spree. The three for two trade. And that's not a good trade for RQ Brazil. I, I don't know what's going on, but every time they go in for this team fights, it doesn't seem like they're synchronized, right? They're going down one by one, and that's exactly how Blacklist wants you to play. And in return, the early lead that they already had had in their grasp has now been shaken back onto Blacklist as the gold is as equal as ever. And right now, it's going to be even a more difficult, even though that Gusta La Gusta has started to reach that power spike, right? We see the Golden Staff coming through. The attack speed is going to start to show with the DHS as, as well. He's going to be able to chunk members like Edward as well as Wise, who is prioritizing these sustained items. Yeah, I think that's the thing that we were all sleeping on, right? Oheb. And when Oheb gets to just farm for free, it becomes a problem, especially when it's a carry. And in these fights, as long as Blacklist can make them last a little bit, Oheb is going to continue to melt down everybody. Not to mention, he's oh. got that wind of nature, but... Oh, they're going to go into the mid lane. Takashi, they get the flicker out and the time's journey from Oh My Venus. He's going to flicker himself. Gusa Lagusa is still waiting around the lore pit here. They're going to disengage. Look again at the ultimates committed. Blacklist International playing that disciplined game. Now, as they get in position to contest the Lord here, Takashi goes in with the split split. It's going to be looking for Oheb. Can he grab him back? Saifkin goes down again. Oh. Edward off cam kill here. Newman Blast finding Wise. Oh my, Venus to fall. They find another kill here. Oheb going down to King again with a double kill. Just when it looks like Brazil is pushed back, they do come in for themselves, but wait a second. They're still gonna be going two on two on the top side. Here comes Takashi as well. King falls. Haji now joining the party, pushing them back with the real world manipulation. Takashi still oh. on the hunt, oh. gets the kill. Punishing Wise, looking for another. Does he have enough? It's Edward Balboa. Immortality gonna be pop the split spit as well. As he escapes, Takashi stays alive. Takashi, the Astro Thunder, definitely doing a wonderful job right now. Just when the game seems to be out of grass, Takashi helps picks up these pieces. King did a wonderful job as well, though he did fall there. But I gotta say right now, I'm feeling like this match could go either way. I mean, it is tie in the gold. Brazil does hold a small lead. How are you feeling about this, Eterna? Honestly, King has been doing wonders as well, right? Because he's been able to dish out that initial damage. Even though he has been taken down twice, he is still able to set that momentum for RQ Brazil to start rolling, right? He opens up, he initiates, and he allows that damage coming in from Gustavo Lagusta to be more impactful. Now, both teams are going to start centering around the next neutral objective, which is this enhanced Lord. Who will have the better setup, realizing that RQ Brazil, they have a lot more CC to play with. You know, I don't, one thing I want to point out, this glue, right? Um, we were wondering about a possible answer, and I feel like the glue, though they're not going to be able to get it every single time, is kind of that cause disruption in the back line without relying on CC. So let's see if they can pull something off here. Well, they're going to battle out here for the Lord as they both poke away. Already getting the black shoes out from Saigon. Conceal play coming out from King. They're going to call it off. They know they're down. The disadvantage here, Edward, though, doing work, cutting the wave, trying his best. And it's just so hard for RQ Akira to decide if they should go for this or not. Seems like they're scared. And the one thing that I noticed is that Wise is actually a level below King, which was previously reversed. So somehow King starts to go on top. And I, maybe perhaps Blacklist realizes this. And therefore, they don't want to fully commit onto it because they know that they are going to lose that red tree battle. But Edward here in the backside. I Edward. mean, the way Edward does this, and this is what I mean by proactiveness, but hold on. Oh, they're going to be going again. Here it is. Wise quite low here. Haji looking for a setup. Oh, my Venus with the time journey out. Edward in the backside, focusing on King. Can't get it. Has to get out of dodge himself with the up here on Takashi. Looking for Wise. Gusta la Gusta with the follow-up, but now he gets caught here. Able to survive as well. And still, no one able to secure this Lord as everybody 
unleashing here in the river. Edward still waiting patiently. Who wants to go for this? Also, RQ Akira holding on to their tier one turret. I mean, I honestly, I gotta give that to Edward right there. He's just playing such a great game. Had a bit of a slow start, but now he is definitely coming in. Even though the Retribution is taken off, taken out, along with Wise from Blacklist, Brazil still plays it safe. They don't want to force this. They know who they're up against here. It is not gonna be easy, but still, definitely one of the greatest games I've watched tonight. It's amazing to see. Like, initially, it, w it felt so one-sided in that first game. But coming to the second game, you can see that RQ Brazil, they're really putting up a fight. And once again, they're going to start this Lord up. Gusta Gusta already dealing so much damage. Right now, Wise isn't in the vicinity, Conceal. but they're looking to. Conceal play going to come out here. They already get the times journey. Takashi going to the backside. Lord going to be worked on. Wise oh. goes in, takes the Lord, still survives on top of it. King gonna fall here, Oheb grabbing a kill himself. It's two down for RRQ Akira. And man, did that look smooth from Wise. You know, I gotta say, the, the walk of the Frederin just matches the play style of Blacklist so well. He walks in, he takes the Lord, and not only that, but they take two players with them. Just when it looks like Brazil is taking this game, Blacklist takes it back. It feels like a caster curse, right? Because I literally said <laughs> that Wise wasn't around, so RRQ Brazil had the better opportunity to get the Lord. And somehow, Wise just walked up, got the red tree, and just did that for his team. But once again, Blacklist is going to go into this mid side. They're going to be pressing the situation here. They're going to pretty much only be able to get this first turret of the base down. But still, they've got the Lord marching on the top side. RQ Akira is going to have to defend their mind out here to stay in this game. Yeah, they definitely need to defend it out. I do think they can survive this push. Hopefully I don't cast or curse them with that one. But they do have Goose Lagusa. They have Sagan for the wave clear, but it's not going to be easy. Assault on the top side, and Hibbert is going to fall here. Blacklist International now going to set their eyes on the bottom. The wave going to be pushing in here. RQ Akira defending all they can. King using that ultimate as well. Base fully exposed here. Blacklist International gives it a call back. They're going to reset. 6,500 gold lead here in the 17th minute. This has got to be one of the longest games so far. It usually goes in the group stage 14-13, but the trend is here coming to the knockouts that these games get so much closer, and so the games get so much longer as well. If we take a look at the player's goal, we see that Edward and Oheb are actually the ones to lead it out, even though King was got got so much gold in the early game, that mid game, where he, oh. whoa, whoa, wait a minute, here in the mid side. Takashi gonna get shredded down by Oheb. Guzalu Guza goes in with the blazing duet. No one going down just yet. The flicker comes out. Real world manipulation on top of it. Wise is still alive here. King now trying to run for the hills. Can't get away as Oh My Venus grabs a kill and it's Takashi. Flicker in from Haji. Can't get the kill either. And RRQ Akira holding on for dear life. Blacklist International now into the base. Full force of five members. It's only four for RRQ Akira. Blacklist International looking to for the waves to push in. Still, Luis gonna get oh. taken out. Oh, and uh, to clean up, and there's nothing they can do here. Oh, no. One after another gonna fall, and Blacklist International taking game number two, match point. That is very, very sad for Brazil. I do have to say, though, it was a valiant effort. <laughs> I, 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 I can't get over the giant VY's heads. <laughs> Look at them dancing right now on the ground. I'm really glad some agents showed up to support. What a match that was, Eterna.